slash ding dong. Uh, one guy who they went and picked up who has certainly outperformed expectations is Ross Stripling. Yeah. Uh, today's performance was what feels like in the moment an all-time gem from Stripling coming off the injured list and carrying a perfect game into the seventh inning. He ends up going seven and a third against the Baltimore, or sorry, six and a third against the Baltimore Orioles, only allows the one hit, strikes out seven. Outside of that hit, does not allow another base runner. Remarkable. Yeah, it was an absolute masterclass from Stripling, and I pointed this out on the Blue Jays Nation Twitter account that his season this year reminds me a lot of Marco Estrada's season in 2015. Wow. So the Jays point. went out and they acquired Marco Estrada ahead of the 2015 season in the, in the deal from Milwaukee, and they sent back Adam Lind. And it was kind of like, who, why this guy? Like, he's yeah. just like a mop-up guy, like a number five starter, maybe allows a ton of dingers. And then he starts off as like the depth guy in the bullpen who's just mopping up innings, does a pretty good job, and then there's injuries to the starting rotation. They need a starter. They throw him in, just like Stripling. And then Estrada in 2015, as we all remember, was unbelievable. He was arguably their best starter until they got David Price. And even after that, like, think about the playoffs. Estrada was probably their best starter in the playoffs. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing with Stripling here, is it was like, oh, here's Ross Stripling, a, a decent depth arm who logs innings in the pen. And meanwhile, there was a desperate need for the Jays to have someone come out and log innings for them because Kikuchi can't pitch. Barrios hasn't been that good. It's just, you know, they needed someone. And Stripling's been that guy. And we're getting to the point now, he's a free agent at the end of the season. And it's like, to me, it kind of seems like a no-brainer to issue him a qualifying offer. They should be looking at re-signing him, just like they did with Estrada. They didn't let Estrada walk. No, they didn't. He ended up pitching three seasons for the Jays. I remember that start, and I just pulled up the numbers again to make sure I had it right. September 17th against Atlanta. He goes eight strong, three hits, no earned. Like, going through his game logs that season, there's so many just great, great starts. August 9th against the Yankees, a pivotal moment for that 2015 Jays team. He goes six and a third, three hits, no earned. And I look at, hopefully... Or hopefully, I should say, we're looking back at this start a month and a half from now from Ross Stripling and being like, yeah, that that was a moment that really helped turn things around. He's got a 2.93 ERA now, Ross That's Stripling ridiculous. does. And this is, this is a guy who was going back and forth from the bullpen to the rotation at the start yeah. of the year. He wasn't necessarily fully stretched out to be starting and still went in the role and thrived. That's, that's damn impressive. 